Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel in a brand new series that I'm calling One Punch Man. This is a melee only series. A few little slight changes I've made here to how it's going to go. Um, added some additional mods to make life a little bit more fun and interesting. I did get myself a helmet light mod so you guys can see just quality of life stuff because some of the times everything is dark. So we get to these opening quests and stuff real fast and then I kind of show you the stuff that we did to make things a little bit differently. Um, for starters, I can now one punch any zombie in the game. Just straight up kick them to the curb and with the help of Kane, I can ragdoll zombies off into oblivion which you'll see the first time we encounter a zombie but to increase the difficulty because that does sound like it'd be pretty easy i also have zombies run during the day and sprint at night and we have the anytime anywhere mod going so zo random zombie hordes can show up at any given time on top of the blood moon hordes so this could be definitely a bit of a challenge and I'm looking forward to trying it. I also have the mod on there to open up some additional trader quests that aren't the normal ones from vanilla. So we should be able to see some, you know, extra jobs from the traders and that could be a lot of fun. All right, well, we're going to get through the, uh, the main stuff first, go see all the crap that we have to get done. Let me put you down here. Okay, beginning stuff is done. Now I just got to get over to the trader. looks like it's going to lead me out towards the town. So... This game, I am allowed to use tools, but no other weapons. No ranged weapons, no bows, no melee weapons, nothing. This is straight up just punching zombies to death. So any kind of weapons we get, we're going to be just scrapping down and getting rid of things. And yeah, we'll get rid of you. I don't need you. This I'll hang on to, I guess. Let me put you down here and put you up in here for now. So I can use tools. So obviously you need tools to be able to take apart things, chop down trees, all that. But... When it comes to just straight attacking zombies, it's punch only. So the challenge is, yeah, I can one punch kill a zombie, and that's going to be fantastic. But, hold on, let's just see. Let's let's show you the other challenge here. Boom, baby. Look at that ragdoll. It's kind of like the uh, bat to the moon from the joke mod. But so here's where the challenge is, that it's punch only. So I still have to get all up in their faces to hit them, which means they can hit me just as much. And, of course, low on stamina. If I catch myself into a major horde, I could be in a hell of a lot of trouble. So I think that's where the challenge is going to be. And plus, if a major wandering horde shows up and I'm stuck inside a house, you know, I'm not going to be able to just stand on top of the roof and plink them. So, yeah, I can one-hit punch and kill everything in the game. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that works against animals, but I can say hunting a deer is definitely going to be a little bit more challenging when I have to walk up and punch it. <laughs> Might as well go ahead and grab a few extra rocks. We're probably going to need them. But I'm really excited about this one. So, you know, if you guys are in it for the long haul, you know, hopefully you'll subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you click the bell, you get notified. You know how that works out. And, of course, while you're here, if you got a second and you want to, leave a like on the video. And, of course, a big early shout out to my Patreon members and YouTube members for, you know, the support and helping keep this dream alive. I do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Links to all that is in the video description down below. So if you want to go, um, um, you know, get you some merch or anything like that, all of that's in the video description. You join Discord, follow me on social media, whatever. All of that's down there. Or you just click the little show more button if you didn't know that. Trader Hugh, nice. Trader Hugh's good. Hang on. Open the door. Close the door. What's up, Glenn? And boat. Boom. Okay, so as long as I, as long as I, you know, make sure I keep proper distance from all these idiots, I should be okay. Outside, I'm thinking it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Inside is where things are going to go crazy because, yeah, I'm going to, be, I'll be trapped inside things. I'm pretty sure if I remember, oh yeah, those are non-breakdownable. I've been playing Darkness Falls so long, I forget that these blocks are protected within the trader. I do want to go up and check in the tower real quick and gather the stuff that... I definitely can't use anymore since we can't use weapons and if nothing else I can always sell them. You got anything up here that'd be useful? Now I don't know exactly what these new quests are going to add to the game. I have no idea but I thought it would be a fun way to add some additional challenges by having some quests that aren't just the bare bones basic ones that we always get in vanilla or literally pretty much any of the other ones here. So I know there's like a defend mod or a defend thing that you got to do. I know that there's you know, you got to get some certain kinds of uh, antibiotics and medications and take to certain places. And that's part of the quest. And so that's going to be kind of cool just to see what kind of random crap we get. Again, this is a store with a whole lot of stuff you can't loot. 
Now, there is one thing that I have considered that I don't consider to be uh, cheating, and I'm giving myself that rule to begin with, is if I happen to have a, let's say I give myself a pipe raffle or I make a pipe raffle and stick a scope on it, that's more or less just like binoculars. Since there aren't binocs in the game, that would be a good way for me to be able to, you know, zoom off in the distance and see, you know, if there's any zombies coming or something. I could use it as a recon style tool thing, but not actually use it to fire. So it's going to be real interesting to see how well this goes. I hope it's a good series. I hope it goes really well. Sup, dude? See what kind of jobs he's got up here. So we got defend missions, clear plus food, clear zombies, and a defend mission. That one's real close. Uh, that one's real close, too. What do you? What do we do here? One of our secrets spotted a small horde heading towards safe house at passing gas number 10. Go and stop them from trashing the place. Okay. Uh, well, let me see if I can sell a few things to you because I'm definitely not going to need these real quick. That's all I'm going to buy. Also, one of the things that I'm going to have to try and keep in mind is that I have these skill points now, but what I'm going to really have to pay attention to is which perks I put in there because there'll be no, there'll make no sense to put it into any kind of weapons or pu uh, pummeling peat or anything, but like this one, 10% more damage, punch out their teeth, uh, stamina cost is less, so being able to put some points into that and things like healing factor so I get some of my health back and cardio so I can run away and let me see, where's the other one over here? Lucky Looter, that'd probably be a good one to get started with too, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Pack Meal would be good, Master Chef would be good. I should probably go with Master Chef because then I can, you know, help out with the old food thing. But there's a whole bunch of these perks that are going to be completely useless to me in this game now. So that's something's going to be a challenge. Uh, you know what, I'm going to put one into Iron Gut. There we go. We'll get some skill points as we go along. Let's go see what this, let's go see what this quest is. It's not too far from here. I'll worry about searching the rest of the stuff when we get back over. Let's go test out our punching ability. Nice. Well, I like the fact that it's right across the street. What's up, Owen? You ran right into a fist of steel, sir. Yeah, this, I feel like this is going to be a complete change to how I play the game. It's going to be a complete, a complete change. What are you? Get hammered. Hammers can improve sledgehammer. I'm sure. Uh-oh. Okay. With them also being able to run all the time. Now, they, they only run, so they're still not super de duper fast, but they can run, so it's definitely going to... They can show up and get right behind me real fast if they want to. Okay, defend the safe house for five minutes. Okay. Can I go inside the safe... I can go inside the safe house. Go ahead and get rid of you real quick. Where you at? I hear you. Are you in the ceiling? Are you on the roof? I'm over here. Ha ha! I loop swooped and pulled and punched your arm off of your body. All right, so this one's a little bit different. I didn't pick up any lockpicks, did I? No, I did not. I'm not going to worry about trying to find a place to call home or anything yet. Just because I have no idea, you know, the area looks like. Maybe I can find myself a little high rise or a little construction site that I can get all up inside and call that good and make that my home. I typically, if you've watched any of my series before, you know I like to basically move into a, a, bro, a broken down apartment buildings or attics. Find a house that's got an attic entrance and make that my home. I always like doing those kinds of things, so I may try and mix it up a little bit and see if we can get something different. Anybody in the kitchen? Sylvia! What's up, Kyle? Bad dog. Okay, if I can get to the dogs and stuff before they take off running at me, then I feel like I'll have a pretty good chance of not getting bitten. But this uh, having to get all up close and personal. Oh, crap. Just like that. This up close and personal is definitely going to make it a challenge. Now, the way that this ragdoll thing is if I punch one zombie, he can hit another zombie and knock him down. But it doesn't do any damage to him. So it's more or less just going to give me a way to kind of clear a room a little bit, which is not a bad thing. No, stupid wrong button. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and use you. Some more bandages, that's great. Scrap boots, I'll just wear those and some more shotgun shells. Chances are the best thing to do would be to, like, break down all the ammo. But, I don't know, maybe I can mass stack it and then sell it to the dude. Well, we got three more minutes to defend this place. And some shale, sweet. I don't have any vehicle mods in here, even though we just did a vehicle mod... Um, focused video showing a whole bunch of new vehicle mods. I don't have any in here just yet. That doesn't mean I won't add some. 
adding mods to the series as we go along is not something that I'm opposed to doing if I see something there. Like, I considered adding more the More Zombies mod, which I don't remember the name of it specifically, but basically it adds a ton of new different kinds of zombies. Loot goggles, nice! Loot bonus plus four right off the bat? Yes! Oh, that's fantastic. So I did get a hazmat mask, but since I can't put the helmet on, I can't put the light on this one, I'll probably just sell it with a bunch of this other stuff. I can scrap you down. I'll hang on to some of this stuff. We got a minute 40 left to defend this place, but right at the moment, it doesn't seem like defending it is that hard. I'm not seeing like waves of zombies here, so that's not bad. That doesn't mean they won't show up in the next minute and a half, but right at the moment, it seems okay. But you know what, if I get extra... Oh, that's the other thing with those particular kinds of added quests is on some of these you get bonuses based on how quick you can complete it and so you can get like bonus materials you can bonus items bonus gifted things rewards that sort of thing just by completing things a little bit faster so it'll be really interesting to see if i don't think there's going to be anything major on this one oh man you know i have to say having played darkness falls for the last little bit i am used to having a much huger backpack this one's a little bitty. It's a little bitty. Well, right off the bat, I'm not thinking this mission's too hard. Right across the street, the defend was not too bad. I mean, it's day one. It's a level one POI. I do have some money. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get some... Some red tea. That would help with... No, let me see. Yucca. That's a little bit expensive. Let's get some red tea. It's too bad you don't have any food. Awesome sauce is good. You know, helps with bartering, but I'm not to that point where it's a problem yet. Let me go ahead and buy one of those. Stay within, kill any... Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so that's how this is going to work out, huh? Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Test of metal. Here we go. Just sp spawning in zombies. At least it's not spawning in like cops and radiated. Uh oh We missed. Egg Ow! Okay, so this is where the challenge is going to be, is when I get surrounded. Level three. Don't be punching gas cans and blowing stuff up here. Holy hell. Okay, so that's what a defend mission is. The timer runs down and you got a bunch of zombies spawning in here. Okay, drop the bag. Knock you two down. Uh-uh. Okay, we're still chonkier at the moment. Okay, well, that's what a defend mission does. We got dinged a couple times, but we didn't get an infection. What'd you bring me? Anything good? So, man, oh, that's nice. Some vitamins. Might as well go ahead and use those. Well, no, not necessarily. This isn't Darkness Falls. I don't need the uh, wellness boost there. Okay, that wasn't terrible. We got dinged, but not horrible. All right, okay, so there you can see where the challenge is going to be. We got a bunch of zombies sprinting at us in a small location, especially for like indoors. It could be a lot of fun. Incredible. I know, I am pretty incredible. Armor pocket mod? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take you because, you know, make give me some more inventory. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. All right, let me sell a few things to you. Yeah, no kidding, right? Thank God. Can I slap you one here? I can. That'll give me just one more spot, but still, one more is better than none. And I do need to drop a few things off here that I don't necessarily have to have. Can I access... Oh, I didn't even... What? I swear I opened that up. I mean, maybe I didn't. Well, okay, I can throw a few things in here I don't need on me right this second because I'm not going to be using them anytime soon, so keep them out of my inventory. Okay, it's a start. Now we need to probably work on trying to at least find a temporary place to call home. It's not going to be base forever, but I never finished looting all the stuff that's over here, too. More repair kits. That's pretty good, I guess. What do you do for me? A forge ahead? Learn how to make forges work. Nice. Makes Increases your... Uh, I can make the dew collector. That could be useful so I can start getting some water. I know, although I'm going to have to have a water filter in order to be able to do that. So either Trader Dew is going to have to hook me up or I'm going to have to get really lucky and find one. I've got water if I need it, which, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just put you down here just in case. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. The The starting part of a brand new series is always a lot of fun. I always enjoy a brand new series. Dude, straight lost his head. A brand new series is always fun, though. It's always nice to kind of see what horrible things you can get into. Of course, having to deal with all the stamina loss early on in the game is not fun. When you're used to being a beast and just run around and beating the snot out of things and don't have to worry about your stamina that week one challenge over here is definitely a little a little tough if i can put a bunch of a bunch of skill points into things like stamina regen and health regen 
I think that would probably be beneficial just in case. All right, so I did get another skill point. Oh, I got three more skill points. Oh, nice. Can I put another one into cardio? No, I need to be in fortitude level four, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Headshot damage. Okay, see, I don't really need that because I can already do that. I mean, I'm going to have to anyway. Get that all the way beefed up and then we can put some more into brawler. And mostly the reason why I want to put in brawler is because it reduces the amount of stamina usage I have to use for any of those. What's up, Edgar? Lois, what you doing? Any of y'all have anything open for me to get to? Let's see what you got hidden in your backpack. Some corn, cornmeal. Cornmeal is always good. I love me some cornbread. Can we get down here? See, we can make ourselves like a subterranean base. Stay down. Don't crawl at me, you creepy lady. Now, this room is not very big. I mean, it would take a while to probably... It might take a little while to beat that thing apart. And this wouldn't be very safe because it'd be like literally right here's the door. What's up, Skeletor? Hang on just a second. I can hear a whole bunch of footsteps. I want to make sure I'm not going to get myself trapped. Keep the stamina usage at a norm here. Nothing else up there? Just you? Okay, we're okay if it's just you. Dude, stuck her into the wall. That's fantastic. Let's keep going this way and see what's down. Now, being able to one-punch zombies might make me a little bit braver than I probably should be, too. What's up, Tim? Keep an eye on things. Glenn, you've been drinking again? I'll punch you right in the knee. Oh, okay, I'm going to punch you in the butt, then. So, yeah, am I overpowered? Absolutely, but I'm also a little bitty of weakling and stuff right inside here. You know what I should probably do since I have it and it lasts for 12 minutes? Go ahead and get a vitamin in me. Helps out with disease resist. So if any of these idiots corner me, I don't get an infection right off the bat. And we started off our Wasteland Warrior series like that a long time ago with that same problem. It was like a day one infection. And I'm pretty sure I got up into like 80-something percent before I finally found some antibiotics. It was rough. Um... Uh, I'll read you for the experience. Okay, I hear a bunch of noise. Where y'all coming in from? That doesn't sound good. Oh, hey! That's bad on the ACL. You shouldn't take that kind of fall. Sarge! Nutshot! That's just fantastic. Check your corners. You go sprinting into a room, you're gonna get hit from behind. I do like that. I do like that indeed. Lovely. Come on. Come one. Come all. Just if you don't all come at the same time, that would be appreciated. All right. Let's go back over here. I feel like I'm okay. It sounds like there's just one right at the moment. I'm probably uh, a little bit of false security there. This is a big winding tunnel. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? Kind of startled me. I'm not going to lie. Big red light on the door. I have to assume this is going to lead me to the loots. Or not. Do you feel better? You moron. Come here. There you go. So up there is some mo power. Is there a way to get up there without having to jump stack? Did you know what? Hold on. Did I, I never did make myself any building. Block. How many can I, I can make 33? And how about we make 25? How about that? Get those down to our inventory where I can use them quickly. I love having, I love keeping these on my belt just in case. Never know when you're going to need to quickly jump stack up and away from something. Y'all can swim. Okay, don't break. Hang on. I know what you're going to do. Don't do it. Just in case, I don't want you breaking down my climbing device here real quick before I even have a chance to use it. See what old Mo Power's got. How cool would it be if we got a drone on the first day? That's not going to happen, but how cool would that be? Some books. That's not bad. Electrical traps. Go ahead and use you. Some tech junkie. Use you in vehicle adventures. And then a little bit of mechanical parts. Weapons bag with sharp sticks. Well, again, I'm using you for the parts, and that's about it. Keep your stamina usage to the normal. Told you that's bad on the knees, dude. Don't lose your head, man. All right. That little area is okay. This is... Nutshot. 
probably wouldn't have even known that if one of y'all hadn't broken out of there and let me know it was there. That's not a good spot. Ooh, backpack. Read you another repair kit. I have unlock harvest tools, stone tools, quality two. Cool, cool. All right, we haven't been up here yet. Let's go over here and see what kind of... Why? Oh, dang it. I did not see you there, Sylvia. You snuck up behind me. Kind of startled me, I'm not going to lie. There's the rest of you. That'll teach you. Come on out. You want a box? Okay, upstairs we go. I know that when I was first over here, I saw uh, some hidden, or not really something hidden, but I saw some blocks, uh, some crates of things that I wouldn't mind getting, but I'm not quite sure how to get to them. Don't do it. No jumping at me. Hey, Bo, what's going on? I'll lay you down right over there. One Punch Man strikes again. I'm not used to seeing registers actually open. I swear there was... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Did you make me any coffee? No, you didn't either. We're starting off strong. I'm pretty sure in the Darkness Falls series, we found coffee three times, maybe, in the entire series. I'm hoping we find a little bit more in vanilla. If you want to get you a did you make me any coffee mug or anything, they're, well, they're in the video description down below with the rest of the merch. Let's check some of these newspaper stands and get some experience. Can't make half the stuff that I'm learning how to make, but if nothing else, is giving me some experience so I can kind of beef up myself a little bit. I'd like to be able to go full tank mode here. Still haven't found a place that I want to call home yet. I'm not too worried about it if I don't find a place on day one. I'm kind of just exploring the area around where I'm at. Keeping an eye on where the trader is, that's probably a good idea. Don't need either one of those. What this? Oh, Arch Park. I swear there, I've been into an Arch Park before. I swear there was something here. Like one of these corners, I thought there was like, yeah. Ha ha, I was right. There's a bag with a little bit of corn in it. Nice, could boil that up, make a little boiled corn bag. I mean, corn bag. <laughs> You're a corn bag. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, we got a parking structure sort of thing here. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could use this. Let's go upstairs and see what we got here. Hello? Who dat? Who dare? Go ahead and lay waste to both of you. Oh, dude, you're all trapped all up inside your buddy and halfway in the wall. Here, I'll just go ahead and break your arm. That'll teach you. Safety work production. Nah, I'm good. That one's locked. Uh, probably nothing behind there if I that level of durability. Okay, there's got to be a way to get up top. Maybe not from in here. Wait, did I search you? I did. Like, no, I didn't. You don't have anything to search. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get up there. Finish off that floor a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, that could be a home. Let's check this side. Hey, look at that stairs. I see ya. Okay, so these kinds of bars won't work for any kind of horde base where I have to stop them to punch them. That may also affect how I design my horde bases too because... You know, I like doing the, the drop style base where I can kind of cheese them a bit. But if I can't hit them through the bars with melee, it's definitely going to make it a little bit of a challenge. Ooh, high performance running shoe. Stamina regen. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Hang on. Can I put those... Can I put the um, armor pocket mod on my stamina shoes? The stamina regen's... Great. Hold on. Did you make me any coffee? No, you didn't make it any either. All right, y'all will get up here in just a minute. I want to get a chance to kind of look around and see what we got as far as structure available here. Get up to the roof. Kind of flatten this out a little bit, and this could be good. One Punch Man. All right, so this is the area I was looking at above. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Where do you go? Okay, uh, hold on. Can you be gotten to from over here? Hold on, there's a little... There's a hatch right here. This goes down into... Oh, that's how you get up there. Okay, so I was in this room just a little while ago. So this would allow multiple ways to get up here. Which could be good for me, but bad for me also. Because if the zombies also figure out the multiple ways to get up here, it could be kind of bad. Another repair kit and a regular bandage. It's not terrible. If nothing else, it helps stop the bleeding. Doesn't give you any health, though. Uh, you know what? Water's getting just a smidge low. 
Oh, also, hang on. Let me move you over here. No reason to have that all stacked stupid-like. All right, I hear a bunch of you. Come over. Oh, hey. <laughs> Freaking startled me. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't notice, I do have the experience boost up to 150% just to make it progress a little bit faster. Hold on. Let's see if I can get a chicken. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ha! Gotcha. Nice. Got some meat, and I got enough to be able to make a bone shiv, so if I need to um, use it to get more meats from some of these people, that'd be great, too. See ya! Anything on the ground? Let's check the ambulance, see if we can get some good... If we could, like, stack up on first aid kits and antibiotics, that'd be great. Honey's good. There's a first aid kit. Hey, there we go. That's almost what I said. I'm kind of worried now if the game is hooking me up early on with stuff that I'm asking for. I don't really need to worry about trying to find, like, weapon boxes since I can't use them. But if nothing else, I can always sell them. Make, get a whole bunch of money that way. We clear? I don't have the lock pick to get into that cop car, so if I just straight up beast into it, it's going to make a whole bunch of noise. Tools digest. Needle and thread. Let's see. Leather duster? Leather duster's not bad. Leather duster is not bad to have if I have to venture into a spot where it's a little bit on the hot side. And another bar brawler. And you should move 20 extra damage, knock down, stun enemies. Eh, don't necessarily need that, but I'll use it for the experience. Okay, hang on, I got a couple skill points. Let's go back into under, no, it's under uh, Fortitude. Brawler, we can put another one into here. Uh, let's see, Cardio, put another one in there. Increase stamina regen, 20% when sprinting. That's going to be useful. Now, I'm not entirely sure if, and where's it at here? Oh yeah, I forgot Sexy T-Rex ain't even a thing, never mind. Come here, you. Sid. So I don't think I don't think I like that little parking garage. Not just yet, anyway. Only because there's so many ways to get inside that it looks like it could be quite terrible. Um, it would be a great way for zombies to sneak up on me. Kind of seems like it would make it really easy for them to sneak up behind me in multiple directions and, you know, ruin my existence. Hang on. Sometimes these little stands, the cash register is working. Noise. Money. Taters. Tater seeds. Let's start doing some farming here. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll spend some time focusing on doing some farming while I'm here. I don't really need that. Well, we got the seeds, but that's about it. Okay, how far are we from Trader Dude? Like, seriously, where's... Oh, he's way down. Okay, we definitely moved down a little ways. That's no far. I do want to stay... At least for the beginning part, I want to stay kind of close to the Trader Dude. Just because it will make it a lot easier for me to go back and forth to sell them things, to buy things. I need to find... Hold on, what do I need to do to make clothing pocket mods? I need to have leather, which I may have left some out there. Duct tape, cloth fragments. You need a bunch of cloth fragments. I don't remember it costing that much. Sweet mama. Uh, I need to get as many as those as possible. So I need to go back to the trader and gather the supplies that were mine, just in case I had some leather in there. Where'd she go? I punched her so hard she ceased to exist. That's the way we do it. Sneak attack! 9.95. COC Chemicals. I don't think I know that POI. Unless it's just been renamed. Lois! How's it going? I'm not going to worry about searching you right now. I'm already chunky. What is? I think I actually... No, no, no. This ain't the same one. Is it? This building here, I swear I, this looks familiar from this side at least. Maybe I used this for a horde base once. I don't know. We'll see. Let me get around the other side. I don't, I don't think so. Let me see what this actually is. The OPS Distribution Center? I don't think I used this as a horde base. No. This is a much larger area. Come here. You can either follow along or just forget that you ever saw me. One, either one of those is an option. And frankly, they're both good options. Well, we're not too far from the trader. Hell, I may sleep in the gas station tonight. I already cleared it out. I'm just a, basically a place to kind of go through, organize inventory, drop some stuff down, and kind of see what we got. Do some more jobs for the trader. You loot, I shoot. Nah, you don't either. You're a liar. Do some more trader jobs and get our level up, and then we can get the uh, bicycle. That'd be great. I don't think I looted you. Stuff and things. Okay, let's go see how much stuff I dropped off in here. Wait, did I need even search this? Some BDU pants, yeah. Go ahead and wear those. Get rid of the crappy ones that I have. How about a BDU top? 
Military fiber? Well, I'm not going to need that anytime soon, but I appreciate it. What did I leave in here? Okay, so leather I did leave in there. A little bit of cloth, some glue. I can use that to make the duct tape if I need to. That's not bad. We're not going to be able to sleep in here, so hold on. Let me uh, sell just a couple things to him, clear up some inventory what space. Do you need? What you want is. So I know, I'm not so bad at all. That's definitely going to be something to get used to as well, is the trader being, you know, open during a certain time and closed during a certain time. Because I've been playing for a while in a mod that doesn't have a timer on the mod, on the uh, trader. <laughs> Who dat? Come here, Glenn. Where'd you come out of? The tractor. I want to drive this. Oh, oh, hey. Kind of startled me, I'm not going to lie. All right, well, let's go back in over here to the gas station. We're not going to call this place home permanently, but we can at least stop here and kind of get some things going. I can spend tonight worrying about trying to organize inventory a little bit. Did I go in the garage? I did go in here. Look at all these pallets of things in here. I mean, that'll give me... That gives me... Clay. Yeah, I don't need I don't need clay and stuff right now. And we forgot to search this. Some bones. Okay. Well, like I said, temporarily what I can use this for is a place to kind of just store some things. Do you have a counter out here that's easily acceptable, accessible? No, not really. Okay, well, let's do this. At least we're a little bit less on the old chonky side of things. Close this door up here. All right, I say that was a pretty good first day. Did I get any more skill points? I have no more skill points, but I'm not too far from it. So I need to go through and make myself a little bit better. Uh, a little bit better stuff. In Wait, I didn't go up here either. Oh, passing gas crate in the box or in the corner. Completely forgot about it. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we'll sleep here tonight. Uh, I'm not going to do dumb things like run out and try and test my metal against a bunch of running freaking zombies at night. We have. Hello. Hang on. There's just a couple of you out here. I'm not too worried about it. Although we had a nice little uh, nice little horde show up when we were trying to defend this place. I feel like we've earned the right to sleep here for tonight. Cool. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to spend this time kind of organizing my inventory, see what I have that I don't need, and et cetera. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the first video. Lots more to come. This could be a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on other videos, of course. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.